Biden-Harris enter election year with historic $117 million in cash. The campaign has uh, grown its cash on hand for three consecutive quarters. And again, like I mentioned, when we started this out, uh, for elections, especially elections as big as a presidential one, you always have to look at things like voter registration because, you know, people who vote red actually go through the trouble to register to vote will probably go do it. Um, and how much money is being raised, especially from small dollar donors, like stuff like that. And especially when you have polling that's very close and within the margin of error. Um, so again, like the race in reality, nobody's running away with this. It's, it's still very close and it's going to stay that way for quite some time. And, and I don't really, you know, one of the things that we really have to wait for is, um, the, you know, Trump's convictions or not with these, uh, indictments and with all these felonies. I don't see how in the world he could just, oh, he's not going to get away with 91 felonies. I just, how? And especially with his immunity arguments and the way he behaves, he's going to get convicted of, you know, maybe 30, 40, 50 times over. Who knows? But we'll have to wait to see what happens with that. Um, and everything else, you know, you got to take politics one day at a time, but especially when it's like this. I mean, these two guys are, are neck and neck. So here we go. The Biden-Harris campaign raised more than $97 million in the final quarter of 2023 and enters the election year with $117 million in cash on hand, the highest total amassed by any Democratic candidate in history at this point in the cycle. The campaign has grown its cash on hand for three consecutive quarters, from $77 million dollars in Q2 to 91 million in Q3 and now 117 million at the end of Q4, raising $235 million since launching in April. December was the strongest grassroots funding month so far. And I, I read on another website, the average donation was like $41 or something like that in terms of the small dollar, small dollar donors. But one thing that has been true, um, in recent elections is um, Democrats have been outperforming in the polls. And especially when you like, let's just minus, let's you know, not even talk about like Biden versus Trump. When it just comes to like down ballot races, like house races and, and stuff, um, I expect Democrats to continue to do well, not just because you know, the tides are turning in terms of younger generations getting elected, uh, Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, but also because the reversal of Roe v. Wade and all these, again, red states passing these six week bans has proven to be a horrible political move. Um, and it's proven to cause people to continuously show up to the polls um, and it's something that Democrats can easily campaign on. We're look, we're, I mean, we're watching, you know, uh, more and more women run for office because of the reversal of Roe, or if they live in states like Texas where they had to go through, I, we covered a woman, I can't recall her name, but I'm pretty sure she's from Texas. She's running for house. Um, that's going to continue to, to make a difference, but polling really hasn't been that accurate for a number of years. And, you know, like it hasn't been horrible, but it really hasn't shown that true of a picture in the end for people who actually show up to the polls. So um, I'll be curious to see how that's fixed, like maybe like how they contact people who they have in their groups. I don't know, but that is an issue. But that's one of the reasons why you have to always look at stuff like this. Um OK, I'm trying to see if if because I, I looked at it on. OK, I looked on a different website and it doesn't have it on here, but um, I'm pretty sure the the average small dollar donation was like 40 or 41 dollars or something like that. Nonetheless, again, Biden and Trump are, you know, the. That not, neither one of them, it, it really can't, when you look at everything, it, you can't objectively say that either one of these people are, are, are just have a, a, a hand and a control on the election run. And it's still too early. You know what I mean? It still is. And politics happens one day at a time. Uh, but we're going to keep our eyes peeled for stuff like that. And two, one of the things I'm really interested in is to be talking about, uh, you know, how, uh, house campaigns 
for more and more people who are um, everyday, regular working people who are running for office in places. Because, again, like I mentioned, the reversal of Roe v. Wade is in inspiring a lot of women to run for office on that issue. 